Hi everyone, Janie here, and today I'm going to turn this plain craft spiral notebook into a beautiful shabby chic journal using some gorgeous papers from Decorate Your Life. This digital paper kit is called Electra, and even though I'm showing you this here on the screen, I will of course have a link below in the description box so you can get a better look at it. And I'll be printing those beautiful papers on this gorgeous cardstock from Paper Temptress and this one is Pearl Glimmer and it has a beautiful well pearl glimmer to it it is just stunning and it's pretty heavy it is a hundred and five pound cover weight but it is gorgeous and that pearl is on both sides and then the other one I'm going to be using is the white pearl linen which I absolutely love and it has a really gorgeous linen texture to it and by printing the beautiful, beautiful digital papers from Decorate Your Life onto these gorgeous papers, the effect is stunning. If you could only see it in real life. This is what it looks like printed on that Pearl Glimmer cardstock. And it is so elegant. And the Pearl Glimmer cardstock has a little bit of an ivory tone to it which does affect the color that's printed on there so that doesn't have a bright white behind it but it is absolutely gorgeous and here I've printed two different papers on one page because this is the size that I needed them so this isn't all just one this these are two different papers from the set and here's one that I printed that is actually two pages again and I have them lined up so perfectly you can see the line right here but when you look at the rest of that it is seamless the way that this paper is made is absolutely amazing how it can go together seamless like that and here are a couple more of the beautiful papers that I printed out smaller and then up here is another one where I did two of them together and here I flipped them so that they're opposite so like the flowers here and then the flowers there but again, that is absolutely seamless. You would never know that that is two separate pieces of paper. And I just love it. And these are all printed on that um, Glimmer cardstock from Paper Temptress. And this is really sturdy. And this is from the Pastel Fabric um, Paper Pack. And I love it. It has this gorgeous texture to it. And then on top of that, I printed it on white pearl linen from Paper Temptress, and it is just stunning. And there's a variety of pastel colors. This one just happens to match very well with the other papers here. So there we go. I'm going to go get everything cut out and get started. So I've got all the papers cut out, and I'm going to be inking the edges with Tattered Rose Distress Ink. Not only do I like the look, but I like that it hides those white edges. I am going to be doing this to all of the papers, but no, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do all of them. So this is one of those times when I have a vision, but I'm really not sure where it's going. So I've gone through my stash and pulled out all kinds of trims and lace and goodies to work with, and I'm not sure what I'm even going to use, so this is just going to be a creative process in the works. So the first thing I'm doing is painting around the edges and the spiral wires with Martha Stewart's Summer Linen Satin Paint because I didn't want the craft paper to show and really didn't want to take this all apart just to put it back together again. And also because I wanted to lighten up the spiral binding with a little shabby paint job. This video isn't a tutorial, so I'm going to speed things up a little bit and add some music for you to listen to but I'll be coming back at the end of my video with my finished journal to give you more of a detailed look at it.
When I started this project, I had a vision, but I wasn't sure where it was taking me, and I wasn't sure who this was going to be for. But while working on decorating the cover, a little voice whispered, This is for you. Follow your heart. Follow your creative instincts. And so that is exactly what I did. And I took that plain craft notebook and turned it into this beautiful shabby chic journal. And here's the finished journal, and I absolutely love the way that it came out. So let's start with the cover. I use this beautiful paper that has the quilted look to it, and I love it. It really looks quilted. It's, it's amazing. And it looks so beautiful on that paper from Paper Temptress. So what a combination, a digital paper pack from Decorate Your Life and the papers to print it on from Paper Temptress. Perfect combination. So elegant. I love it. And I added these filigree metal corners and this ruffled trim with the pearls. Now underneath there it actually had pearls as well, but I wanted to add something dimensional here and then this square was cut out of the center of one of the papers and I thought it was just beautiful the way it was it actually showed pearls along the edges but I decided to add some flat back pearls along the edges and these pearls hanging down right here flowers a filigree piece right there and this is actually on top of a doily that you can barely see and there are some little pink feathers sticking out on the sides as well. So I went a little bit crazy with some of the things that I came across in my stash, but I absolutely love the look. And oh, and I love the key. <laughs> I love keys. So I had to add the key with the ribbon. And I think that that is just so beautiful. So let's open it up. And there's another one of the beautiful papers and I didn't really want to cover it up I feel like I've covered this one up so much but you know it was just the quilted area down here but these papers are so gorgeous that I mean you don't even have to embellish them if you don't want to so what I've got here is a little ribbon pull tab with a little metal filigree piece and I was going to put a magnet closure but the magnet kept wanting to stick to this metal binding and that wasn't going to work so I gave up on that idea but I still wanted to keep the pull tab so we're going to open that up and on this page this is the the back side of that um, shimmer cardstock pearl shimmer cardstock I'll get the name right but don't matter links below in the description box and then the um, the corner pocket and see if I can get it up there so you can see it's actually a really pale pink and that was um, from the um, paper pack also this was from the oh I believe it was called pastel fabric from decorate your life and it is really pretty and elegant and then all of these um, stickers I just had in my stash and thought that they were perfect to add to it and then there's this beautiful page and it is just so pretty I didn't want to cover it up but I did make a belly band again um, using the pastel fabric um, papers from decorate your life and then adding some stickers to that and so the belly band is perfect for holding whatever you want to stick in there this just happens to be another one of the pages that I printed out only I printed it out small it could be perfect for a card topper and then there's this one that I printed out two papers the same paper and flipped them back to back and it's perfect for making a card but this isn't a card so inside I have little tuck spots and again I am using that same pastel fabric paper and this is printed on the um, white linen white pearl linen cardstock and it is just really pretty I don't know if you can really get a good look at that it looks like it has texture and actually with that linen paper it does have texture but it's such a pretty soft pink that I decided to use but perfect for tucking things in that you want to hang on to and then it'll fit right there in the pocket just like that so 
Let's close that up. We're going to flip to the back and the back is the same only with different papers. There was just so many beautiful papers I couldn't decide which ones to use so I used a lot. And it's the same ribbon pull with the filigree and open it up and again we have a pocket and a belly band. Look at that paper. These papers are so beautiful. I really didn't want to cover them up. But, you know, at the same time, I did want to create something really special. So, there we go. Added the belly button. Belly button? Oh my goodness. How about belly band and a corner pocket? Oh, I must be tired. It's one of those days. But,. There we go, and then we have the back cover. I used the same papers and the same filigree metal corner pieces and the same ruffle with the pearl trim. And that is my finished journal from that little craft covered notebook to this. What a transformation, and honestly, I couldn't have found any better papers to do this with. I really love that Electra, Electra? Yes. <laughs> Paper from Decorate Your Life. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The whole set. And um, the papers from Paper Temptress. Great combination. I really do suggest that if you're going to get these beautiful papers from Decorate Your Life, that you get the beautiful papers and cardstock to print them on from Paper Temptress and I will have links to all of that below in the description box for you. Thank you all so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed watching the transformation of this journal and I want to thank Decorate Your Life and Paper Temptress for giving me the opportunity to work with their products that happen to go so perfectly together. Below in the description box you'll find links and discount codes as well as details about a giveaway. And you can also find details about the giveaway on my blog which I'll also link at the top of my description box. Happy crafting everyone! Bye bye!